Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to JFK Airport. Today I'm flying JetBlue Mint from New York to San Diego. Should be a good flight, looking forward to it. So let's go and check it out. JetBlue operate from JFK Terminal 5 and there is a private check-in area for any Mint class passengers. Terminal 5 is a fairly new terminal with award-winning features and it's quite nice, spacious and there are plenty of things to do and plenty of places to eat and drink in the terminal. There's even an outdoor roof deck if you're interested in spending some time outside during the summer. My flight today would be just under 2,500 miles and the ticket price cost 399 US dollars one way. This is exceptional value when comparing to other airlines on the route such as Delta, United or American Airlines. Mint Business Class was introduced in June 2014 and is a premium service which JetBlue say offers all the fun without the stiffness of the other airlines. The Mint cabin consists of 12 business class seats laid out in a staggered configuration. The seats are a 2-1-2-1-2 configuration on either side and the single throne seats are in rows 2 and 4. Today I was lucky enough to have throne seat 2F. It is interesting to me that JetBlue don't charge any more for the throne seats over the double seats when they are much more private and much bigger. The seats themselves are very nice and comfortable with easy to use seat controls to adjust your seats and JetBlue also makes sure you don't run out of any power during your trip. I actually had free plugs on my seat to use during the flight which is really handy. When you arrive at your seat you are greeted with a welcome card from the crew members that will be serving you during your flight. I also had the cocktail to kick off my day and I went for the alcoholic option to give it a try. JetBlue's in-flight menu is a little different than other airlines on the route. You actually have to pick three dishes from the main menu and they will provide them to you all at the same time with anything else you order. This is definitely unique considering with other airlines you are just given one or two options on a flight. The seat does have some handy storage space available to it for you to store some items and also all of the seats have a bottle of water at them when you board the plane. We pushed back just a few minutes behind schedule and made our way over to the runway. The Ranger transition contact departure, good morning. Ranger departure, good morning, Chapel 189. Morning departure, Chapel 189 out of 1500, 445, score 4 Ranger. Chapel 189, your departure radar contact, climb and maintain 1 1000. 11, Chapel 189. Chapel 
189, contact departure 124.75 today. Departure 2475, check on the connection. Our climb out from New York was nice and fast and very smooth, and before we knew it, we were cruising along at 26,000 feet. The crew then distributed hot towels throughout all of the passengers in the cabin. JetBlue provides every passenger with a Haywood amenity kit, which includes some nice socks, an eye mask, a pen, and some moisturizing creams, and a toothbrush and toothpaste. The really nice thing about the single suites is that once the door is closed, it is actually quite private in your cabin unlike the twin seats where you don't have that much privacy, so it's worth getting the single seat if you can. If you don't have your own headphones, complimentary headphones are handed out to business class passengers to use during the flight. Turn this cruising altitude to 34,000 feet. It's unfortunately, a little bit of choppy ride here. It's going to maintain that choppiness until we get about middle of the country. Once we cross over a little past Kansas City, it should smooth out on our way west. Turn on top ride, one to San Diego right now. San Diego's clear skies, temperature 62 degrees on the rise. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. I decided to go with another signature cocktail, and also this is where the pastries were, but I ate it before filming. Today I went with the shakshuka, the mini pancakes, and a side of pineapple, all of which were absolutely delicious, especially the shakshuka. That's quite a hard dish, I think, to get right on an airplane, but it was really tasty. Just after the breakfast service, the pilot did come back on to give us another announcement that we'd be approaching a bumpy area for about 30 minutes. He definitely wasn't joking, it was a really bumpy area, and afterwards I checked and the winds were up to 125 miles an hour where we crossed over. Now I've definitely experienced worse turbulence before, but this turbulence was coming from the side, so it was strong winds pushing us constantly sideways and making us roll a lot, which did get kind of annoying after a while. To keep you entertained during the flight, JetBlue does have some fantastic in-flight entertainment. They have an incredible movie selection and lots of TV shows to choose from as well as music and also they do offer live TV from DirecTV to stream TV direct to you from any channel that's out there. If you're feeling thirsty or peckish during the flight, there is a snack bar located in the forward middle of the cabin which is available to all passengers. Now the beds themselves are fairly tight. I mean, at six foot tall, you can see that it's quite cocooning on the legs here at the bottom. It can be quite uncomfortable sleeping like this, but you know, it's still better than economy class. I would also like to say that Wayne and Cameron that served me on this flight were very friendly and a really nice cabin crew. This is one thing that I think sets JetBlue apart from the other competition. The flight attendants are much younger, much more chatty and seem to actually enjoy doing their job versus the other airline. About 45 minutes out from San Diego, the crew came through the cabin and distributed business class cookies to all of the passengers. I did ask for a cup of coffee as well to enjoy this with, as I just can't eat cookies straight. Despite the first two hours being fairly bumpy, it was a really enjoyable flight and a great experience flying JetBlue Mint business class. And I thoroughly recommend it to anyone considering flying on this route to LA or San Diego from New York. 
JetBlue do have plans to start service from New York to London in the future, so this will be interesting to see how they compare with other airlines in a pricing war on the route. JetBlue 189, reduce speed to 190. JetBlue 189, reduce speed to 170. JetBlue 189, clear direct fighter. Okay, JetBlue 189, 1, 000, kilo. JetBlue 189, turn 20 degrees left for traffic, descend to maintain 6,000. 20 left for traffic, down to 6,000, JetBlue 189. JetBlue 189, contact Lemberg Tower, 18.3. 18.3, JetBlue 189. Lemberg, JetBlue 189, RNF, 27. JetBlue 189, Lemberg Tower, wind is 320 at 6, 1, 2, 7, clear to land, Boeing 737, 4 mile final traffic, we'll hold in position. No, Andy, that was the one. Turn left at Bravo 8, contact ground, no delay on that. Turn Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Blue would like to be the first to welcome you to San Diego at your local time at 10.55 a.m. For your safety, please keep your seatbelt fastened and carry it out as put away until the captain has her golf to fasten seatbelt time. Be careful when opening overhead bins, let him do have a tendency to move during flight. Once we open the main cabin door, I'll have carousel information for you. If you have a receipt that says claim my gate, you may pick up your item outside the front boarding door. If you do need any assistance getting off the aircraft today, we do invite you to remain seated. Once we've arrived at the gate, this way we may better assist you. For information on connecting flight and baggage claim, you can check the airport monitors or download our free JetBlue mobile app. And be sure to visit JetBlue.com to learn more about our True Blue loyalty program. We can earn points on all of your flights, starting with today's flight. On behalf of all of us here at JetBlue, especially this New York-based crew, we'd like to thank you for flying with us. And for those of you from the San Diego area, we'd like to be the first to say, welcome home. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look into JetBlue Mint Business Class. Thanks very much for watching. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon for another video. Thanks very much. All right, no bye. See ya. Bye bye.